is right. It is the winner bracket semifinal. What a rare occasion to not have happy at this stage of the tournament. Winner of three maps goes into the grand final. Loser goes down to the lower bracket where happy is already waiting. The three remaining players are the three best players in the world. And we have cross position on Lost Temple to kick this off. Ooh. Best orc, best human. Let's go. Nice. I love cross position. Forces you into a macro game. You have to think long term. You have to uh, lay out your plans for the next few minutes. You have to think, you might say, strategically in our beautiful strategy game. Little, of course, is hoping for uh, the easy spawn. He is expected to scout on the left, hoping to harass the enemy expansion there, but that will not be an option this time. Farseer it is. Archmage it is. Classic matchup of the two summoner heroes. Lots of damage later as well with the AoE spells that are so, so, so important in this matchup with Clap and Stomp. Lots of room for both. And I think for 40 it could be pretty straightforward with expansion, with the map being so big. But what's Lin doing against it? Yeah, Link could try to play kind of a contain game, play the Farseer early for harass, slow him down on tier two, or gets really strong. With TC, Radar Walkers, he could have full map control for a long time, could use that to easily expand, and could use it to suffocate the human. Because oftentimes, there's very little you can do. <laughs> you reach tier two, you got the MK out, but just the MK and a handful of footies aren't really good enough to contest the map. So Fortitude may have to get creative as well to get some level progress. What Lin certainly wants to avoid compared to Fly, for example, that we saw before were grunt kills. Grunt kills would be a great way for a bit of extra experience going for his direction. There we go. 40 is scouting counterclockwise. Lin is gambling quite a bit, right? To see if he can find his opponent there. If not, he could probably stop to get level two to get at least something done. Yeah, I think he's got with a peon already. Oh, is he gonna maybe expand here during the tech? That would be pretty unusual. That open that option will now be open to him. We can see the expansion here is very easy to creep. Goes for all races. Gives you a small item and a level two right away. And Foytwood might be a bit surprised that he hasn't been getting harassed so far. It's very suspicious when the Farseer yeah. isn't on your buttocks and isn't trying to get kills early. So Fortitude must know that the Farseer has also been leveled. Well, well. Expo up. We're approaching the temple from the south and from the west. Forty got the scout off as well. And a quick Expo timing. He's a little short on lumber, but the power build... Wow. Look at the expansion. What? Super early. Oh, the footy though. The footy scout pattern might be absolutely perfect, but Lin's timing also not too shabby. Ooh, finds all the peasants super exposed. Oh my god, the AM is so far away. He's That's, so far away. And of course he can't TP because that building isn't finished yet. Footman Yikes. finds it, but he moves away. He doesn't even lay damage onto that Great Hall. Militia got to salvage this situation. Lumber is ultra low. And the tower has only been started now. Lin with the grand opening. Yeah, this is devastating damage right here. The militia might be able to clean it up in the end. But that is so many kills. That throws 40 back to the Stone Age. Look at the lumber. Oh my god, this is so bad for him. The one silver lining is the AM has been creeping really well. He got level 3. He needs to put on some return pressure. Sick. Holy... Moly, 40 moving so far away from his expansion. Clearly a little bit of a mistake here. Footman should be able to take down the Great Hall over time. It's at 60% and of course tier 2 is done. 40 needs to create a lot of space with this push here, but it's only two Footmen. He should have a second Watch Elemental out in a moment though. That is still pretty good damage and... It might be a painful start on both. Peasants, of course, the vulnerability for human, and Burrows, the vulnerability for orc, have been getting exploited many times over the years. All right, here's a second watch elemental. Is the repair enough? If the Burrow holds, seems like Lin should have a big lead here. He is getting so many kills. Dude, once the Farsi gets level three, 
Ooh, he's gonna be in even more trouble. But Lin lost his own expansion, footmen were enough, and Lin is supply block, so the burrow eventually went down. Oh, and the next one. Oh, and of course, the can he try to stomp? He's trying to save it, just barely. What elemental, how long is it? How long does it last? Not that much longer. It's of course displayed in the overlay with a little shrinking blue bar. This is oh, hell. Is. I didn't know that. Yes, of course, dude. What are you, like an overlay without summon time duration? It's ridiculous. Um, so Lin has the tech, but no tier two oh, buildings. God. Oh God, Fast tier three is stupid strong right now. He has no dispel for minutes. There's no tower at the expansion. Fortitude has almost nothing. This is looking rough, man. This is looking real rough. Another call for militia, but 40. Like, he still has to tech. He's at 70 lumber, but at least he can TP yeah. home now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Corpses everywhere. 13 peasants killed in under seven minutes. That equates to a lot of pain. That's one peasant every 30 seconds. The lot was cancelled though. This is the one glimmer of hope for Fortitude. The water elementals should still be strong for a long time. AM level 3 did deliver here the way that he needed to. Over the fountain now is so wonderful for Lin. Everything was hurt. He did finally bring some heal selves. Trying to creep the fountain here, AM may want to come to try to intervene. <sighs> what can he do though? Is he not too late already? Wolf Harass continues with no arcane up. Lin is about to get the fountain. He is short on lumber, so especially Dispo will take some time. But what's this Archmage supposed to do? Watch metal quickly gonna get surrounded. Lin is spending a stomp here. If the footies join after, maybe there's something you can do, but the AM is also living a dangerous life right now, right? No TP anymore. If the raiders come and then their surround follows, it could be painful. But the big boy creeps are still here. Items still up for grabs. Right on. But the fountain, of course, so good for grunts and TC now. Footies are joining indeed, but do they stand a chance? And is there a way for Lin to manipulate the creeps so they don't attack him anymore? So looking at these wolves, man, they're so strong. Fast move speed can always find their targets. A few crits here and there. The wolves doing tremendous work. Parseer is leading the damage charge here, ahead of the Archmage. Another Watcher Elemental taken out. Yet more experience. TC about to get two. And I think Fortitude, even if he doesn't want to, will have to forfeit this fountain. And with that, the map everybody knows. Tier 2 finally started at 8 minutes 40 seconds. That is 2 minutes 40 seconds behind what you usually want. Another fucking goes down. 1.9 on the TC. One more kill will do it. And this aura makes a big difference. A few headhunters now coming in as well. Man, the shaman are late though. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Much only coming now. Yeah, Jeez. yeah. Lin's lumber was very, very low thanks to all the repair. And what elementals are quite strong, as you said, also getting a lot of HP back. PC level 2, that's aura, that's a help. And he's not overseers. Quite a longevity, but 40 indeed has to forfeit. And it's gonna be a rough, rough, rough late game for him. PC now receiving yet more treasured experience. I wonder if all the map makers cringe when they see Lost Temple and they see the green camp that the players always have to run through to get to the middle. <laughs> Imagine it is if you do that now. A wonky idea. Okay, Lin gets the middle, but 40 has that expo up and the tech is catching up. Lin, no second attempt of the second base, no tech. And we know 40, he has a lot of tricks up his sleeve when it comes to pushing bases and buying time. 
Raider in the main, scouting a bit. Sees towers here already. Bases are looking fairly well fortified. And now Fortitude with... Oh, a good Archmage scout. In with, in with AM. Sees where the Orc is going. And that is towards his own expansion. Hopefully for him, there's also some towers there. That looks heavily, heavily fortified with some SimCity. Guard tower, Arcane tower. Lin opting for pillage. That I like is how a... the footies were also hugging the town hall, making it yep. difficult to attack. Yep. Neat. Okay. For the tune is recovering pretty well, dude. That was a painful early, but he got some crucial moves in as well to try to equalize the game. Nice night there on the altar. MK delayed for quite a while. Mm, love to see it. Almost a surround the TC there as well. Limbus just barely able to move out. Attack upgrades coming for better pillage, but Fordy's defense pretty damn strong. He, of course, knows how to play from behind in several matchups. Once his expo is up, he's crazy strong. Wonder if Lin's advantage wasn't a bit too much. He's also making adjustment, counter expansion, and some solid XP donation with the water elementals here. Atypical. And speaking of XP, my lordy, does Lin have a huge lead? He's almost a full level 4 hero ahead. And with those levels, we'd love to take a fight now. Fortitude doesn't have much yet to defend. He needs the casters, the Sanctum is exposed in the front of the base, the tower's out here so far. Can't really help too much. And this could be a great fight for Lin. He's finally got the Shaman ready as well against the Elementals. There's some new units moving to the left hand side. Wonder what that is. TC level 3, basically grinding this just from 40's army. But no mana anymore, thanks to the towers. Breakers are coming. That's, of course, the best weapon to what the orc has at the moment. And whatever Lin was planning there on the left hand side, it feels like a footy shut that down already. Yeah, nicely done here by Fortitude, has the scout ready. And this was a close call as well. If Forty hadn't been in position right away, this would have been perhaps more farms going down, the Sanctum going down, but Fortitude just able to hold on there in the main base, and he is trying to stabilize. Lots of gold now on Forty. He might be able to build a big army quite quickly, but he also needs to work on levels. That's where Lin has the huge lead. So, so much more experience. That's oftentimes what it's all about. Archmage, not in the base. Has a town portal, but you really don't want to use that. In the moment right now in the game for 40, this is what I was talking about earlier. Sure you have an MK, sure you have a couple of units, but there's like nothing you can creep. You're just stuck in the main, you're Yo. contained. And Lin is playing the contain quite well. 40 could try to escape towards the west, go through the expansion, then to the shop, creep there in the corners, take it slow. But this will all take a long time. Ideally, he would love to get in two, three camps for the MK, get a fast level three right away. That is not possible on this map. And Lin doubling down on that, takes the red spot away. The contain is insane. Hurts Fortitude's brain. Talk of Flames could be insane as well. Maybe his efforts are all in vain. In summer, he's gonna go to Spain. With the matadors. Dude, I was thinking about this like uh, the other day, by the way. Wouldn't the vacation in Pamplona be amazing? Isn't that the best spot ever? I think it's a lot of animal cruelty nah, involved. They're having fun. And it's they're not having fun. We're Dude, having they're fun. They're getting slaughtered there. No, 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 not the not the uh, not the bull fighting. I mean the one where they're running through the streets. Ah. Well, it's also slaughter there, but then against me. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> that's, when you, that's when you feel yeah. alive, Neil. I haven't had that in 20 years. I wonder if Fortitude is feeling all too great here. Seems like he's getting, getting kind of suffocated. MK did get level two at least, got a health stone. That's nice. AM. With the Tome of Retraining, by the way, getting ready to go into Blizzard soon. It's going to cancel the expansion another time, but of course, it's only the second one. Lin already has another base. One gets cancelled on the left-hand side. Once again, staff play, the last usage of a water elemental, probably. 
And that is, of course, a lot of money via pillage. Breakers and Mountain King coming in. Might lead to one or two kills, but still so much catching up to do. I think Ford is doing this fairly well, though. He is keeping his base operational. And doing so even without the AM having to join for quite a while. Trying to get to the shop, maybe get some more items. Oh, Invis. Invis play again, second time around. Loving the play by the two here. Despite serious difficulty in the early game, both recovering well and seem to have maneuvered into a solid spot. But I've seen lots of games lately that get decided by hero levels in the end. And there, Lin still has a big, big lead. That's right. It's kind of shrinking, but... You were right on it, man. How to catch up, especially like level three Mountain King is absolutely mandatory before the next fight. Now he sees that oh, the bounty is gone. God damn it. At least he doesn't have to listen to our rhymes. That's a bit of a silver lining for him. But Lin is just getting further and further ahead in that regard. Level four TC around the corner. Love how they both went to the shop multiple times to get the necessary items, like double invul on 40's side, double heal scroll on Lin's side, but Lin is rich and 40. He got level 3! But is that enough without heal scroll? Well, he has one, I guess. Clamp Blizzard doing a good job, but the heal scroll advantage could be absolutely devastating here. AM caught as well with the storm. Oh, oh Archmage mm -hmm. far up front. Invul gonna be near right away. Militia joining from the main base. But that TC is scary, dude, with Stomp and the Cloak in the back doing lots yeah. of damage right there. The rifles are caught, <laughs> but also some Raiders are falling. Supply-wise, we're pretty even still. Oh, AM hurt. Needs to be careful. Archmage, Archmage. Chain Lightning could have been his end. Needs to use the TP to get out. The Zap in the back and the Stomp. Oh, oh, it's a slaughter. And with that, this exchange definitely goes to there. Wow, that TC with Lightning Shield, Cloak of Flames, Stomp and Chain Lightning on top. The AoE damage on Lin's side is absurd. And that is against someone who has Blizzard level 2 and Clap level 2. Grand, grand, grand fight here. And now he's expanding in a very unusual position. Bottom right hand side expansion. <laughs> Rare to see. Forty still sees a win condition, even though he's 15 food down. And his levels are down as well. And he's fighting this gigantic bull who already got his ultimate in item form, a big healing, a ring, and of course the support of Shaman. Hard to outmaneuver Lin here, especially, you know, since he's Lin. He didn't even use those heal scrolls before. He still has them available now. He may not have too much mana. That's where 40 has the edge. But now also one heal scroll on Fortitude. The supply now is speaking volumes. 80 supply for Lin. Oh my god, it's such a huge army. There's all sorts of targets for Clap Blizzard. But Lin seems to be getting better and better here. Getting more money with Pillage. And 40, he knows he needs to catch up in levels. Gets level 4, okay. But his base is under attack. Grunt, Lightning Rod, Sweet the spell, 40 ready for this play. But too little, I guess. Tr trading TPs now, similar to what Happy and uh, Fly did before on Twisted. Not a big fight, it's all about the gold. Lin gets out clean. Level 5 on the fast here already. Level 5 TC shouldn't be too far away. He's on 4.6 already. This MK needs level 4. This MK needs to start to deliver. And 40 is going to the red camp. The experience here should be enough. But Lin is going tier 3, man. He's got all the upgrades. He's got three bases. Looks like he's getting close to unbeatable territory. How? What, what is there? Like, no expansion, clearly. Lin is going tier 3. Super comfortable position for him, as you said. Red spot approached by 40. That's risky, but he has to take these risks, that's for sure. Invis coming. Magic Sentry for reveal against Invis Wolves, as we have level 3 Wolves already. And we have Butt Crumbs in the chat, gifting us up to Butt Balls. Thank you very much. Creeping this red camp without water elementals is so difficult, and then is back for the next round, giving Fortitude absolutely no room to breathe anymore in this late game. It's gonna make this expensive with the Raiders once again. They're well upgraded here on 2-1. TP out. There's a demonic figurine. 
I think that thing can just get purged though, so it might not be of too much help. Let's hope for the best. A raider dies, he did a lot. We can rest in pieces now. Dude, the way Lin controlled this map from start to soon to be finished, this is just impressive, man. Demonic figurine sold. Seems like Fortitude is aware. The purge can be a very easy counter. MK finally got to level 4. That is where he starts to really impress. He would love to get to level 5, but finding enough kills for that will not be so easy. We have double Torn Totem, baby. <sighs> I know what that means. Let's go. I got a feeling that some of these units are gonna get p -p -p pulverized. Yo, if we even see that. 1k gold, 100 supply soon. And Torn are so sturdy, they can tank a lot of Blizzard and clap. This is almost Mission Impossible. Like, can you... The big problem with Torns normally is, when they're really low HP, it's very hard to heal them. <laughs> but here, we got a fountain baby. In the middle of the map, ain't that nice. Tier 3 is done. Master training is coming on the Shaman. That might actually backfire against these breakers, but perhaps there will be a way to use it. Yeah, you know what anyway, they say, whoever has the torrent at the fountain wins the game. Torrents are just unbeatable, dude. I've been doing it all these years. I mean, they kind of are unbeatable as long as you have mana. And a walker. What are you doing desperate here? Trying to take out Lin's third. That's not working. He's gonna have to TP on home. And Lin is not gonna give him the fight here. He's gonna say sayonara. Make it back home. Supply is surprisingly even right now. But that doesn't mean the game's very even. 40 also closed the XP gaps. Half a level on the TC, half a level on the Farsia. Tiny Great Hall by Lindo. Tripling down and the Torn are coming. Oh, June is gonna enjoy this late game now. 40 still on tier 2. What's, what's he supposed to do? There's even very little sorceress in for slow. They have a bunch of mana. If they can survive, maybe they can tr can't can control the torrent. Slow is very, very good indeed against torrents. And there's still no AoE to spell, no walkers. <laughs> Crazy setup. The orc out expanding the human by a lot. I wonder if mortars, invisible mortars would be a way, but then there's also TPs always. The base is under pressure. And then again, going for the attack. Fort has to react quickly to this. He knows the raiders are a real threat. A big threat. Uh oh, and this town hall might be going down quickly. Lin committing to the kill. There is a TP. It might be painful for Lin, but could be worth it. TP out. Does he have the damage to get the kill? He sure does. Loses. Two Shaman, I think. The AM is five. That's big. But that was a critical kill as well. Yeah, what a surgical strike this was. Perfect timing, perfect TP. Levels are there. Yep, that's true. But so are the Tauren. And the Shadowhunter is coming as well with Hex. Great addition against Blizzard. Great control, of course, on top of that already existing control with Ensnare. Forgot the rally point though. Use them torrents, Lin! Hoof to the head. Needs to bring them in quick. Gyros, I guess, not to use for anymore. They were supposed to counter the wyvern earlier. I don't think we see any wyvern anymore. Positioning is going to be key still for 40. If he can find an arrow choke, that will be wonderful for him. But right now he's getting kind of caught out in the open. Oh, 40 though, positions well back towards the entrance of the temple. Okay. That breaker line could do a lot. There's not too many Kodos and the Torrent need to connect, but Ensnare is making sure that does work. TC even has an Ankh, has a potion, gets level 5. A little bit of a success moment until you see that Ankh on the ground. Gyros, as you said, not really useful supply at all. Two heal scrolls, heal wave actually. 
So far, not the craziest torrent impact, but maybe soonish. Clap and Blizzard, though. Kinda nice, but not nice enough. Arc Rage now taking heaps of damage. Oh my god, Wendy's getting pulverized. But good invo potion transfer. And the builder damage is looking great once again, but he has to fall back. He has to kite backwards. The damage output of Lin's army is still terrifying. He has to make sure, though, that the Orc army can't get in range of that fountain. So you gotta close the wall here. Archmage in trouble one more time. Only a TP left. Everybody had so many consumables and now nothing is available anymore. Gotta get out. Gets level 5, but that is free healing at the Spa of Lost Temple. Yeah, it's always amazing for Orcs to have a health fountain heal up here after a fight, but for Torin even more so. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Hey, hey, ich sah dich auf dem Balkon liegen. Du hattest nichts an. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So, German classic. Good old Helge. Is he still touring? Oh, yeah. Very much so. Nice. Alive and kicking. Hopefully forever. Maybe he's gonna eat one of those octopuses. No, wait, it's not an octopus. Jellyfishes that are immortal. Mm -hmm. Helge immortal. I would appreciate. If there's one person in the world who should be immortal, it's that guy. There's T tw TPing in his 40. This yep. might be a TP to his doom, though. Oh boy, this is the most terrifying orc army I think we have ever seen. <laughs> 97 food. supply, Torrent's triple hero, bloodlust as well. Ra ra ra. And just incredible beef. How nice to see Bloodlust at the day of the Rara Land ticket sale. Perfect situation for the Mountain King, of course, but steady drop. You know, that MK is gonna fall soon. The Blizzard number's insane. The clap, insane. But he's just grinding him down, man. He's just grinding them down. Mountain King hits the deck. GG. And that was a hell of a game one. 27 minutes with the winner being Lin. Yeah, really good game. Lost Temple. Good for fa human fast expansion, but we really saw the mid-game problem. It took him so long to get the hero levels up finally where they needed to be. The orc had such a big lead, and once double five orc hero levels are achieved, man, they're so dangerous. Of course, the big question is, if he had been scouting on the left with a footy, if he could have intercepted all that harass towards his expansion, could have made for a very different game. Um, but yeah, that was that was a seriously, seriously looked like an oversight, right? He just got completely blindsided there at the expansion. Yeah. Where the peasants suffered. Six start by Lin. We thought maybe Fortitude would be the favorite, judging from the past couple of games they played against each other. But mm -mm. the War Chief is here to play and to read the grand final. And then we would have. Well, let's not get ahead of it, uh, of ourselves. Hammerfall is Fortitude's first map pick. That's what we're going to see next. And extraordinary gameplay possible here. I feel like this paved the way, though. Fasia, Archmage, Elemental Harass into huge AoE with expansion attempts on both sides. And we'll see that five times and we're going to have a blast. I'm here for it, man. I'm buckled up. Over the last few days, we've seen, at least statistically speaking, the MK have a much better win rate than the Archmage. MK first, that is. Interestingly, this also went for the 2v2 today. When TH was playing MK first, those were the games they won. Hammerfall used to be played mostly with a far, with an AM, with uh, Water Elemental uh, creeping, but we have also sometimes seen MK. We saw especially by Sock, that was the first map, right? That he won against Fly. How potent the MK is once he finally gets those levels. That's a good thing about an MK first. I would love to see 40 switch into an MK play now. All right. Not too unlikely. He did it before. We got a three euro donation by the lovely Rochenmann. He says, keep Two-Face on, a.k.a. Remo, who wants to bring out evil Warcraft 3 patches immediately. Grab. What? That's exactly what I said. I mean. I'm confused. All right. Thank you, Rochenmann. 
All right. Thank you very much. I would uh, never do anything evil. Um, Jesus is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Want to talk about that game. one wedding you attended, or do we want to talk about the game? Well, it wasn't the wedding wedding. It was just like uh, the 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 official government wedding. Who cares about that? <laughs> okay. Game time. One out for Lynn. Warchief two maps away from the grand final on championship Sunday on Easter Sunday. Fortitude alive and kicking though. The fights didn't look bad at all. With a better early game, he got all the chances in the world. He knows it best. And here we go. Lin upper left hand side, 40 bottom right hand side. Ding, 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 round two. All right, 40 the map pick here. We're expecting him to be feeling comfortable and confident. This matchup seems to be a lot about expansions these days. It seems like almost every human, almost all the time, expands nowadays. And we see the hero of choice now. It is the Mountain King. I like to Ooh. see that. I, I feel the same way about the MK that I was feeling about the MK first against Undead like half a year ago. He just looks so much better. He just looks so much better against Orc right now, I think. Mr. Remo Demo with the calls. Love to see it. Let's see what Lin's answer to that is. Very, very disruptive force, of course. Not that easy to push bases with it, just a completely different approach to human vs. Orc. We got a straight up headhunter build. No grunts, really. And the Mountain King is already locked and loaded, man. He wants to hammer away at these headhunters. Yeah, and on paper, that's normally not considered ideal against MK. Usually, would like to, have to have at least one grunt, maybe later go heavier into grunts. MK with Stonebolt and Bash is great at picking off a few headhunters here and there with the help of Footman, especially, of course, once he gets to level 3. Getting there can be a bit of a problem, but then again, this map isn't so difficult to creep on. That's right. Um... Claws or right hammer away. Oh, looking for the surround immediately. Lin gotta close that. Locks it in. Oh my, what a statement. After losing game one in 30 minutes, this one, this harass didn't work out at all. Gotta, gotta respect the dwarven man. And now with the TP gone, perhaps Lin has to play purely defensively with creeping. He wasted basically so much time at the start. And it's a bit of a scouting mistake by Lin, right? He would have been too late to do anything about this creep camp anyways. He should have been leading with a wolf. Check out what it is. And if it's MK, you gotta be careful with your positioning. Mm -hmm. Definitely a bit of a mistake here that hurts Lin right away. It's getting late over there in China. Seven hours ahead, right? So closing in on midnight. Who had to wake? Oh, oh, another headhunter here as well. This Mountain King is working out beautifully. Because Lin is also MK green. first, baby. It is the way. I believe. This is the way. This is the way. It so is flashy. Behind. It is flashy. It is fun. But it's also a little careless of Lin giving Fortitude two big gifts in the early. Yeah, and that headhunter was basically just sacrificed. That looked like he was trying to trade it for 75 mana. Is that worth it, man? I don't know. Lin crept one camp, he got level 1.5. Now he's trying to go for the first aggressive maneuver. Oh, great scout by the footy. Look at that. 42's footy scouting now really on point. He's anticipating all the different moves. And Lin doesn't find anything there in the main base either. This is a perfect early game for Ford. And now you can save a little bit of time on the shop because you get the replenishment potion. Denies the peasants, so Lin is not getting that experience. Wolf is feeding, or was supposed to feed the Mountain King a bit up, but resummoned. But yeah, there's no chance for an opening for Lin at the moment. So many boys were called to the expansion just for safety. Oh, the wolves, though, find a nice little snack here. One of them is going to go down. Lin is still trying to get as much as he can, but one peasant was all he could get right there. And this is the big problem with the mass headhunter build. You can't involve them right now. The MK is just going to snipe them yep. one by one. Lin looks a bit, I almost want to say clueless. That's, that's like blasphemous of me to say to Lin, but he's just walking back and forth, not really doing anything right now. Now he's out of mana. 
I just resummoned the wolves. Okay. Needs to level up, get a bit more mana, get the level 2 finally. But it's all 40 so far. I'll send him a clip scouting. of that That's statement. sees him again. Wonderful scouting by 40 here. Information is key. Happy is introducing more and more shades in his play. Foley does it in his very own way. It's another headhunter, dude. Block, right click, no deny. Nothing's coming together for Lin. There's no opening and he knows, like, can't even really pair this with a Fire Lord. He's going for TC, but this has to be all out aggression for the second base or onto the second base. Yeah, I guess he has to hope to catch the footman off guard, ensnares flying, more and more kills. Try to get level 2 and 3 quickly. This seems all oh, so far away right now. Farseer still trying to get that next level up. MK is missing boots right now. Seems like that should be the next item on uh, the shopping list. But he's even without boots getting some good headhunter kills. Who needs boots when you got bash and your opponent can't move? That's another healed self used as well. If the wolves leave him alone, he can use the Riju potion for a little bit more mana. That's pretty much exactly the Stormbolt. Tier 2 on the way. Lin's aggression has to work out. Like, gotta clear that natural, distract Fortitude for like three minutes, and then have an even economy, but this is so, so, so effective by Fortitude. Gorgeous human play. Great saves in the footies as well. Healing them up all right now. Once they're back to green, he's going to have a wonderful time to go for an aggressive maneuver himself. Oh, and it's almost daytime right now. He could creep the shop, get the heal scroll, and then really get something going. If there's one orc who can come back from this position, it's definitely Lin. It's not easy, but nobody said winner brackets are easy. Except if Happy is facing a Night Elf player, then of course it is. But yeah, quite some calm moments for Fortitude now. He got the boots, as you suggested, and the C-tier item Ring of Regeneration. Get the heal scroll though. What the hell? Could have popped the regen and gotten the heal scroll right after. It seems like he's leaving something on the table here. I guess he just wants to creep up a bit more. Can we get the next turtle in the middle? Still four already. Man, what a sick start for this Mountain King. But now, this is the opportunity to get a lot of kills for Lin. Running in with the Ensnare. Chain Lightning is there. Oh, nice movement there on the TP. I thought some footies would be left behind, but no. Almost all make it back out. Another region scroll would be needed. And Fortitude knows about the expansion with the MK looking so, so strong. One footy is not enough though. Needs reinforcements. Lin is going towards the middle. Going again with Raiders, with Pillage. That works on map one. Kind of questionable if that will work on map two as well. 40's tech is done with 1200 gold on the account at the eight minute mark. This is almost flawless. Yeah, dream position for 40 right here. Out on the map, of course, Lin still has map control right now with all these raiders, all these ensnares. But not having walkers is going to be painful later. No spur link, no magic damage against the footman. Seems like Lin has to play an evasive game. Go for building kills, try to take out the expansion, maybe farms, sanctums, whatever he can find. Because uh, mass raiders ain't so good against straight up human armor. Nah, he's not gonna fight. TC Shockwave as well. This is about building kills. This is about structural damage. And with the big mana potion, he does have a lot of that. Mountain King again. Tracking the orc, can maneuver into position. But Lindus wants to creep. He, does, he has double level three. Interesting to not do more with this army, but 40 says, all right, dude, if you're busy on the right-hand side, let me pass through the middle. I'm going to attack your expo. He won't be in time to try to get a cancel here. I think there's also some rifles moving north. The MK would love to find a peon. Get that level up. Oh, that's a nice clap right there. One, two, three. We'll be getting the level up here. Oh, there's a Kodo Beast here. <laughs> oh, that'll be a six snipe to get. Be able to make it away. But some good peon snipes. That was... Oh, oh, the save with the, with the burrow, that's sick. But it was still 
Three peons, I think, in the end. Slowing down Lin's economy. <laughs> Not as impossible as the early game might have suggested. But still a rough situation for Lin. 40 breaking up key pretty much immediately. Archmage is out with Brilliance Aura first. Now some damage laid into with Pillage and Shockwave. Of course, we need a lot more of that to really threaten the Arcane. But Blacksmith is gone, and with that, no upgrades, no rifles anymore. It's still a Spirit Lodge, by the way. Despite the fact that there's going to be no Watch Elementals. Hmm. And Breakers. Hmm. Okay, we're taking there that is. fight. The Ensnare is working out nicely. Yeah, where's the rest of 40's army? Where's the MK? Where's the rifles? Where's everything? That's a very, very good question. And we see it on the right-hand side now. All right, this is where things get a bit dicey for Lin. Mountain King, though, no mana potion. Very limited spell usage possible. Speaking of mana potion, the TC has a big one. Could be using it here for a nasty shockwave. The peasants are all lined up. There it is. Oh, Kabuya! Triple kill right away. The heal scroll perhaps a tiny bit too late. And more incendiaries are flying. Lin kiting backwards. He finds isolated targets. There's easy kills for him. Lin is doing this really well after a difficult early game. Yeah, exactly. He needs a little bit of sustain, I feel. Like a heal scroll or more selves because he's running out soon. Catching another priest. Catching another rifle. Lin is picking up momentum. This is monstrous. But so is the clap. Can't be instantly dispelled. The priest numbers are still a problem. We can see how Lin is sniping crucial targets one by one. Another priest goes down. Zero on the field right now. It's almost only breakers, which tells Lin that he needs more kodos. I think he just produced two. And shaman also being made here. I am still not clear what the shaman are for. Maybe trying to have yet more catch, purge, look for more kills. But certainly. The dispel is going to be of not much use. Lightning shield on workers could be sweet. Oh, that clap though. A weapon of mass destruction, but that was the last one for a while. Archmage level 2. Breaker is caught and the Kodos are still hungry. Ay, 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 ay. They devoured a lot of these breakers already. And this Brilliance Aura has to work overtime, but it's only level 1. Doesn't do too much. Nice escape by Lin. No TP or speed scroll necessary. Damn. And, and the War Chief is playing this as good as it gets. Yeah, Lin is playing this hot after a disastrous early game, man. He lost the Farseer. Uh, not he lost the Farseer, but he lost the TP. He lost the head on He fell far behind. It was a free, a free expansion for 40. But then has nicely fought his way back. And again, I say look at the hero levels. Orc hero levels can do a lot of heavy lifting. Almost carry it by themselves in the end. They're about to be double level 4. That's not enough yet. But double level 5 is so hard to deal with for the human. <sighs> Archmage is so far away from meaningful levels, going water elementals as well. So Lin kind of preemptively having the counter ready, but there's also so many breakers that... Uh, so, so many raiders that Blizzard would also not be a good call. Tricky situations, basically a running mana fountain. 40 though, good items, mana, invul, heal scroll, that's what he needs. But the supply lead is with Lin. Yeah, you mentioned the yield scrolls, and of course they are crucial. They're going to be absolutely vital for both sides against the sick AoE damage that is now available to both. We got the clap on one side, the chain wave on the other. I'm very surprised to not see Blizzard, to be honest. Like, this late into the game, elementals are normally not considered that impactful. Another freebie a breaker. Shockwave, chain lightning! Oh! Penta kill on workers, and that gives Lin the economy lead. You gotta be careful with these unit donations, though. MK close to five. Oh, walks into tower range. Ah, 40 plays around it well. Yeah, he's about to crack it. One or two more kills, and the MK is gonna have it, and of course that is gonna be the strongest spell on the field. The level three clap. But the Chain Wave can find kills at times faster, especially against the vulnerable caster backline. The Breakers, of course, will be immune to all of that nonsense. That's not normally why we see a lot of Breaker upgrades as well, but Fortitude didn't really have the space to go for upgrades too easily. 
Now he's gonna finally have the 1 0 finish, but it's only a single upgrade so far. Another raid onto the base. This workshop problematic. Mana is all right, but 40, you feel it. He just wants this one kill. This one extra kill. He's getting ready for the block, and it works. Check that booty, Mountain King. Still not enough, though. Another expansion here being set up by Lin. He's had full map control now for a while. He's dictating where this game is going. What a great recovery in the mid-game. Again, we must point out how devastating and absolutely atrocious the early game was. But Lin did not let that stop him. Now he's working on a big, terrifying army. Gets up to the northern shop and get even more useful. Yeah, this should terrify Fortitude for the rest of the series, regardless of where this game is going. This is his arguably best map, his first loser's pick. This was one of the best early games possible, and still it's gonna be a 20-minute fight with Lin finding the way back. Not a good look for 40 at the moment, but MK5 now. Double heal scroll, and he got the knowledge. Alright. Expansion is cancelled. Supply pretty damn even. TC also gonna clock in that next level up to five. That's a big one for him. Lin can always get ahead with pillage. Once again, he's heading towards the human main. For the two, will have to respond once more. The pillage money, man. How is there not an indicator for the pillage money? Chinese observer overlay. Must be a lot at this point. Lin is not giving. Back. He's making use of his move speed advantage. Also with the speed scroll here. One grunt though. Should be caught. Oh, no, never mind. Gets out. Speedy, thanks to the scroll. Speedy Gonzalez. And over to the expansion. <laughs> we go. This one is now totally exposed. Raiders trying to get to it. And of course, the chain wave is ready. Chain lightning, shockwave, Ooh. two kills. Not quite yet the level up, but it might be enough to get the town off. Wyvern is getting killed as well, but it's all about the building. Can he stop it somehow? No more mana! 40 holds! Barely 60 food. Two more attacks of something. But now 40 can repair. And it wasn't the knockout punch that Lin wanted to have. The raiders were walking away. Did Lin misclick the raiders? It almost looked like it, he did. Maybe he was trying to move the Wyvern or something. If you just right click with everything, that might have been enough. That gives Fortitude now the opening to go for a counterattack. The orc is quite bruised, not fully healed, still trying to get the clarities and heal selves running, but still a supply lead on Lin, and now he's got that level 5 himself. <sighs> Will that bite him eventually? Not getting that base. The supply is still terrifying, but so is the MK in the middle of it all. This is the position that Fortitude needs. Very, very low cooldown here. Both have a lot of healed scrolls. This is going to be the fight of the map. Getting caught right away. Raiders trying to stay away from the Mountain King. Great control so far for Lin. But also Foy doing a good job keeping the casters away from the dangerous AoE. One chain wave hits them. There was a heal scroll against it. We still have three heal scrolls on the field. Lin used his first, has two left, and Foy gonna TP out. Doesn't like this fight anymore. He lost a bit already. Down to less than 60. Lin still up with a huge arm. Lost quite a bit, I gotta say. Three breakers down. That expo cancelled in the meantime, so that was a good move, good distraction, but a costly expan uh, uh, distraction. We have a 1-1-1 one, one, one build on the Archmage now, seeing Blizzard would have been the better call, maybe. And now it's a run for shops, if you can even afford it. Lin is rich, he can go for whatever items he wants, you see that with double heal uh, mana potion. 40 though, only one heal score left in a super AoE heavy game. And not enough healing to back this up. Yeah, I've been seeing this happening a bit over the last few days. Also in Sock vs. Fly, when the orc gets ahead, it seems like the human is always struggling to get everything he needs. He needs upgrades, he needs a big army, he needs heal scrolls, everything is pretty damn expensive. And it's the human always who loses units quickly, thanks to the chain wave. Sure, the orc also takes damage, but oftentimes can save almost everything. And then heal up and live to fight another day. 
Lin trying to close it out. Yet another attack. Wave after wave onto the human shores. Mountain King is here. Perfect position. But same goes for Chain Lightning and Scroll. Uh, uh, Shockwave. Ooh, double kill on the radar. And the Blacksmith still stands. Finishes that armor upgrade. What a nice, nice, nice back and forth this is. Awesome. Crucial experience for the Farce here. It's only a matter of time now until he gets level 5. Oh! Now, in fact, is the time. Must wolves. Devour or wolves, maybe? No, I mean, he picked wolves. I don't know what it was. Ah, yeah, he did pick wolves. Interesting, right? Most orcs pick chain lightning instead to have more of that AoE punch. But Lin likes them woofies. I think you get the kills anyway. With Shockwave 3 and chain lightning 2 on most targets, at least. And vision is so good. Chipping away at workers is really good. 40. He did build Arcane Sentry on the first map. I don't think he has it this time. No, he doesn't. And the wolf now also getting some info on the enemy army. Seems like Lin still has a big lead. Triple heal scroll once again against double heal scroll, though. It's all about the right position as well. Forty of Tude, of course, is looking for the narrow choke. Begins the fight with a storm ball clap and blizzard. That's a lot of damage. We do have blizzard on the AM. Because it's a 1 1 1 build, which is very unusual. Shockwave in the back, looking for the chain lightning follow up. Blizzard, speed scroll, everything being activated here. Both are throwing the kitchen sink at the enemy army. For the two falling back right here next to the two trees. That's the perfect choke for him he's looking for. And the clap blizzard is doing sick damage. Even with only level one blizzard. Might get even better later. Lin knows this isn't the best position for him, but maybe he still wants to fight. He's up at 80 supply. After all, TC behind enemy lines. Sick! Shockwave! Oh my god, everything now hurt. The heal scroll needs to be used really soon. It's one of the Mountain King trying to get in position. He's got double mana potion as well, made use of the shop. Shockwave once more. This one hit absolutely nothing. <laughs> and now Lin is almost out of mana. Both and have no heal scrolls. Hold on. No heal scrolls, no more. Yet another clap. Invul potion is ready, but no mana potion. That brilliant Zora needs to work. MK, Invul. Okay, he's safe now, but with his back against the wall. Huge supply lead. Blizzard coming in against Grunts. That evens the score a little bit. Lots of Raiders about to fall in. Oh, this supply could swing in no time if he gives 40 a little bit of an edge. Stormballs to fly. More kills are possible. This Grunt is going down. Is that a six, maybe? Oh, not Ooh. quite yet, but the MK is extremely close. Should be going for Stormbolt, I guess. It's a guaranteed kill there, as good as Cosmodan is. Do you really need that, I wonder? And Lin has to lick his wounds, man. But he can comfortably do so with shop control, with resources in. As 40 is running out of gold, slowly but steady. Yeah, this was an expensive push for Lin, but it bought very, very precious time. The second base is now up for him. He's got way more resources. 20 supply lead. Level 6, Mountain King. He does have Cosmodon. Is he going to pop it? He's kind of got the mana for it. Mana potion used as well. Should be the perfect time to use the ultimate. AM gets to level 4, but he's ensnared still. AM could be a painful, vulnerable target. Mountain King finding more kills. Crazy damage up by this MK. Getting up to more than 23,000. But the Raider count is so high, the supply is still very much visible. And the MK caught in the front, caught in the front. Cosmo down for more HP. Also more armor. <laughs> who catches who? The supply is almost even. Human sustain with the brilliance aura. Crazy surviving two heal scrolls. Cosmo down moving forward. You would have loved to have that Stormbolt now. Cow or dwarf? What's gonna fall? Blizzard doesn't do anything, of course, but there it is. Level six on the TC. The cow will survive for a long time. Raider's about to fall. More grunts about to fall. He needs to get these kills with an Archmage, but it's so hard. That MK might have been Fortitude's end. The next level six. We have three level six heroes this game. Kostya has new wolves to summon and the AM is very frail. Ensnare finds him, dude, the axe from the TC actually does some really good damage. There's a heal potion, at least, to save him. MK has been rest from the tavern. That was super expensive, basically the last resources for Fortitude was trying to save himself from the main base. TC is also close to falling, but he would love to die. Yep. He's gonna come back stronger than ever. The emo cow. Dwarf is getting wrecked once again. GG. Lin takes the 2 and 0 in the winner bracket final. Enjoying his time. Yep.
Oh boy, what a sick series this is, man. Crazy levels, great decision making, very economical uh, plays necessary. And what a comeback by Lin, the orc god. Yeah, that is the old Lin. That is the Lin that was putting the fear of God in the humans. That is the Lin that seems unbeatable. How much more can you hope for in an early game? You have the perfect early, the perfect expansion. Nothing really went wrong. MK gets level three super quickly. Also level four was achieved fast. This MK first with high levels is support, supposed to carry you into the ultimate late game. But here it didn't work. It seems like most of the time it does work, but not here, not that time around. And Lin with one hell of a confidence booster also for himself. He knew he was in a tough spot, but fought his way out. Battled his way back into a lead and back to victory and up to match point. Yeah, great attacks. Got that economical advantage evened out with Pillage. Wonder if that Water Elemental really was the best choice. Earlier Blizzard would have helped a ton. Five gifted subs by Goody Swee. Thank you very much. At least one sweet is, del is still delivering in the Warcraft scene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three match very points much. now, man. Yeah. Hard to come back from this one. Also considering that Lin now is going to have map choice advantage for, well, almost all of these games coming up. Twisted Meadows. Map number three, can 40 start the comeback here? Interesting map in terms of first hero choice. Some humans feel the need to still play AM here, find MK unplayable because of difficult creep camps. Others see it differently. Do try to trust in the Mountain King. If you get off to a good start, get a fast level three and four with some good items, MK can be the game winner, the breadwinner here as well. But map two worries me. It was a yeah. good start. It was a perfect start. It was a great opening for the MK as well. And he couldn't convert it. Normally, the MK is considered weak at the start, but when you get to the late game, that's where you shine. This time around, it was a different story. Great, great execution of TC Farsia. So well done. Okay, what's the way out? Twisted Meadows. There is a strategy that we haven't seen yet, and that's Mass Air. Also, one base play is something that Forty hasn't attempted yet. Seems like he's mostly fond of expansion these days. Um, but you could, in theory, not do it. Go for a level three timing and play aggressive. This used to be Forty's favorite style for a while before the expansions took over. We got ourselves a game, everybody. Match points, Lin. Forty has to win three in a row now to dodge happy in the lower bracket and ascend to the grand final. But it's looking like... The War Chief is in full control. Even if he's not in the early game, he finds ways back. And that, those comeback mechanisms, man, that was crazy and indeed scary. 40 not looking too happy anymore. Lin already defeated him in the 2 on 2 and now maybe back to back in the 1 on 1. I'm looking at the human altar. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna have the answer here in a moment. Does he still dare the MK? Or has the shine worn off? Archmage this time. Okay, I guess that's... I always thought that like... Sock is more of the Mountain King player. 40 is so strong with Archmage pushes. Onto that evolving tier 2 orc base. There lies his strength. Was a nice try. And looked kinda good. But it's not really Fortitude style. Yeah, that is certainly something that he's been looking terrifying with for a long time. If he wants to have a dangerous AM3 timing, though, he will need to uh, give up on the expansion. He will need to play one base, perhaps go for mercs, go for heavy creeping. An expansion really doesn't fit into that play style. And both options are available to the humans. It seems like most humans do tend to expand nowadays here. But Fortitude can choose. That's right. Maybe he has to look up the build order or the timings. A little bit of a break here. 40 looked really annoyed that uh, he didn't like how game 2 developed. Why would he? Has to bring his A game three times in a row. Four -y -y -y. Yeah, it's oftentimes the worst feeling when you feel like you're so far ahead and perhaps you made the mistake of already thinking you've won, which you never should do. 
and then it slips away from you. Would have to be a Herculean effort here for Fulter to bring it back. Has to win three maps in a row now against the greatest orc of all time. If he wants to enter the grand final today. <sighs> Game continues. Away we go. Browraland ticket sale starts in 50 minutes, everybody. Hopefully we're going to be ready with that series. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure it out. Maybe postpone the sale. Anyway. Lab creep, of course. Lin not going for his own lab creep. As I said, he started to experiment a little bit with lab creep fascia with wolves. But that is not the case. Item very decisive and of course he has to defend this harass but so far peasant hp looks good and it's a sobi mask yeah he gets one of the big ones the robe the ring of the arc magi and the sobi mask those are the great early game items he also got full experience that's nice lim shows up for the harass but he can still of course now work on the peasants some will go down you know this as the human you're willing to sacrifice them for the greater good and only too far have Two have gone down so far. We got an arcane coming. And we got yet more gifts of butt crumbs. With gifted subs to butt sandwich, butt rabies, butt burglar, and butt bandit. Some of his many friends that will be coming to Dortmund, hopefully. Butt burglar. He's so good. I miss the ham burglar. He's the greatest. Best thing McDonald's has ever done. But how much can Lin still do? Was that enough damage? The Sobi mask is so powerful. Peasant. Oh, loses the 1v1. Oh, Sag. I am. This, this is looking like a tech, isn't it? Where is it? Ah, oh, no, never mind. More peasants. Expansion it will be. It is getting towards the rather late expansion timing already. We still have to yet creep it and power build it. And Lin is already. Right in his face here with these headhunters. This seems like a really good start for that. I'd agree. But uh, 40, his best plays are oftentimes when he doesn't look too great early. And then strong comebacks. We see that versus Night Elf, also versus Human, also versus Undead, also versus Orc. But his opponent is Lin Man, and if you give him a finger. He's going to rip your arm off, and I wonder how much damage 40 will take now. This mask here is so nice. Big last hits, by the way! This one doesn't get stolen. It's a bit of a disaster if the Farseer gets last hit sealed here. 40 certainly wants to avoid if the Farseer gets level 2 too quickly. Ooh. I think he got that one, though. Yep, yeah, he, he does. Did. Displayed upper left. That prevents level 3, right? Oh, oh that's yeah, that so... prevents level 3. Hey. That's annoying. Huge moment for Lin. Helen is, by the way, kept really far back. Lin is trying to really prioritize not losing health on the Helen. Yeah. yeah, compared to Hammerfall, man, this is a totally different game. Headhunters all healthy, not the crazy start for 40 that we're used to seeing. But also, not so much pressure on the town hall. Farsia is losing health, so are the headhunters. Good splits, chip damage from Archmage towards the first hero of Lin. Footies do the job against headhunters. Now gotta recover a bit though, as more reinforcements streaming in. Not having that level two element metal is so annoying right now. It would be a huge help. Maybe if he gets the headhunter, that could be enough. Deny though. Man, Lin is looking red hot here. So is his HP bar. It is also red. Not so hot yet, though. But yeah, that lasted on the ogre. How much that changed to prevent level two chain lightning? Oh my god! Make it one, two, triple oh whammy. At least the Akin Tower should be finishing. Makes it here just oh in god. time. If the headhunters had gotten dead, that would have been real bad. But all right, Arcane is up. The wolves will be dealt with. Fortitude is slowly stabilizing, but you cannot say that it happened without pain. Four footies down. You could like, argue who's going to reach level three faster, Fasia or Archmage. Something that should never happen. Tier two at six minutes 30, solid timing. But with that, with all these footies dead, 
how are you threatening Lin's tier 2? I don't think you do. The beastery is up. You can't threaten the burrows anymore. Yeah. There's no chance to steal time. Lin is getting stronger and stronger, and the AM is still struggling with that damn level up. Look at the farce here. 2.6, he's close to the AM in levels. And that's without any creeping of his own. This is a masterclass of Farseer Headhunter play that Lin is showing to us right here on map 3. If this game keeps going this way, this might be a quick best of 5. 40 is just suffering. In every regard, he has to call Militia again. That will lower his lumber for when he arrives on tier 2, that will make Sanctums harder to get. And Raiders and also Shaman are coming, like he will have the solution against these water elementals who are arguably becoming stronger but i mean the hard counter is right there so he needs to get some time here to heal up the footman defend also might not be a bad idea but you mentioned the lumber before i guess there is absolutely no lumber available for the defend upgrade peasants need to get to work lumber mill i don't know if it's up it's coming the seconds until tier two a full tooth can't can't wait for the tier 2 stage, needs a second hero, needs a sanctum. Yo, yo, yo. Another footman dead. What can he do now, man? He's still a couple of seconds away from tier 2. His slumber is still crazy low. His blacksmith isn't up. He has a shredder though now, right? Yeah, he does. Okay, that helps. Oh, and now we got the Raiders. The first of many ensnares we see displayed right here. Yet more kills going on to Lind. This is exactly how you want to have this game pan out if you're playing the aggressive style. Get more and more kills, one by one. Once the Farseer gets three, it's going to be a big level up timing as well. You love this, Mr. Rimudimo. There's a shop growing in the north, so whenever mana is nice. getting low, you can retreat a little bit, get them clarities in, you and then push well. again. Dude, Lin is there it is, by the way. So good. Level, level three. The world is now so strong. The town hall in trouble already. Incredible amounts of pressure on Fortitude. Can he somehow get out of this choco? He's named Fortitude for a reason. He's very good in defensive positions, but without Blizzard, Panda is coming. He needs help ASAP. Panda's gonna be backstabbing a little bit, but he might just be welcomed with an end snare to surround. Yeah, the shop spotted him right away. Lin not cut. Concerned with the panda right now, it seems. Raider right flex against the town hall. Of course, he's got pillage, getting good resources here. We're starting the tier three tech actually, which is pretty rare to see in situations like this. He might be thinking that he can't withstand the panda heat and needs a tiny great hall of his own down the road because the panda damage is all right. Arcane is doing stuff, lots of repair, not too much ensnare anymore. And also no pill. Okay, there is pillage, of course. Sorry, a little bit of gold there. But can you afford some mana potions and some heal potions? This panda has to spit more fire. Everything that Fortitude is throwing in here is just getting picked apart one by one. So many kills. TC level 2 now. No mana yet, but that should be okay. He's falling back, taking out the militia again with ease. Beautiful headhunter micro this whole game. I think he lost only a single one. <laughs> Again, I must say, masterclass play by Lin. Might lose some units now. No, actually, save the Raider as well. God damn! What a display by Lin. Remo is such a happy fanboy, you know. Uh, such a Lin fanboy. Lin can do the simplest things, like moving a headhunter to the side. And he's like, oh, Lin, what a god. And you know what? Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Masterclass horde. The resource trading is insane. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Down. I'm not sure if Lin lost a unit yet this game. One, oh. max two. <laughs> and now healing everything up. The shop here is glorious. It would be funny if he creeps the red camp and puts the tiny right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, heal selves are also expensive, but not nearly as expensive as an entire unit. Tier three is done. He can tiny, as we said. He can go Torrin if he wants to. It's like double heal scroll again. Oh, this is so sick. And when can 40 push out? He's going for Blizzard. Okay. But his panda is crazy under level. He doesn't have the bank to build a huge army. And Buttcrumbs is giving a sub to Butlin and Buttford. 
But I still don't see Forty coming back into this. Yeah, it's a very, very tough spot. At least finally he's able to make some units and gather them up together. But there's still no creeping going on. The panda is stuck on level one with basically no experience. And then it's coming back for the next round. Code upgrades being researched. Master training for the shaman already being researched. And a chain wave perhaps as well. Whole different game though. We got the blizzard. The question is for how long and how much repair can he get through the song of ice and fire and shockwaves and lightning. Crazy AOE already 12 minutes in. Priests are falling. Archmage moving forward. Raiders on the other side. Makes it a bit harder to get these end snares out. Fastier with the second heal scroll. That was the last. 40 might recover. And gets a raider kill at long last. Panda in trouble now. Purge is finding him. There's more Purge yet to control him. And Ensnare as well. And the Panda might fall. Heals full to save him. And it does. Clutch movement. Clutch moment rather. To use that one for the two. Trying desperately to stabilize. Supply is finally in his favor by a bit. But Lin has lots of gold. Hold. By 40. Lin has to spend that gold for the second base. This is some time for 40 to breathe. Finally. Maybe a creep spot somewhere. Lin is retreating. Looks like this harass is over. He's gonna poke one more time with a Farseer at max, but I think he's just moving back to the shop to get some consumables because there's nothing in the base. We kinda have a game and Blizzard saved his butt. Yeah, we've been singing Lin's praises, rightfully so, for playing this so well, but also credit to Fortitude. Surviving this insane pressure, extremely well done. That would have broken every other human out there, but 40 is alive, still well and kicking. He's got the supply lead, and he can finally creep up to get some lower levels. TC <laughs> just casually dropping his shockwave, like, hey, yo, don't forget about me. But no, 40 with a Houdini escape out of that chokehold, and he's getting rewarded now after the subby mask for more mana. This is now a big mana potion for obviously more mana, as the name suggests. But on the other side of the map, the expansion is going to be up in a second. That's perhaps the biggest boon of tier 3 for the orc, the tiny great hall. Up quickly, can begin mining right away. Wonder if he's going to go for a third hero. It doesn't really fit into his economic plans right now, being at only a 50 supply. And also, makes it more difficult to get that double level 5. We've been seeing how insane the double level 5 can be. Oh yeah. 40 still not enough. Still needs more time. Lin's bank isn't the craziest. Shockwave 2, Chain Lightning 2 can always do a lot of damage. Cleaning his front yard now, finally. has a lot of time. We've used that either to creep. But that doesn't seem to be the plan. Lin going for the next round of attack, being down now a lot. Hmm. Town portal pretty much immediately for Lin. That should be an easy escape, of course. TC, nah, throwing that wave, not really, right? Preserving more mana, not getting feedback burned. Running into the creeps, whoopsie. And no level 2 endurance aura yet. He's missing a bit of move speed from that, you could say. The TC staying behind to go for a shockwave play. Cost him some XP. Couldn't creep up to level 4 along with the Farseer. But now then is trying to run circles around the human army. Move speed advantage is certainly still with him. Oh, and now in a moment he can threaten the natural. Lovely, 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 lovely movement. Basically a long U-turn by Lin and he finds that opening. Archmage with Blizzard has to hold this because the work is all gone. What a strike by Lin. Is he brute forcing now? Is he going for it? And up on the TC. He could pop that if he wants to. This could be expensive for Lin. Of course, he got an expansion on his side. Earlier, he failed to get the expansion kill. He's committing. He's committing with everything and he certainly has the damage. No peasants left anymore. A heal scroll was used. He's going to lose some units, but honestly, not that many. Lin gets out pretty much clean. He's got a big army 
to make use of against you. Oh man, that panda in hindsight so underwhelming. Obviously helped defend with that AoE in combination with Blizzard, but now there's no catch really except for that little bit of movement speed reduction, but speed scroll counters that hard. Lin's door to the grand final with a clean sweep is wide open. Big level up here at least, finally, for the panda. He's level 3. In the right position, Breath of Fire and Blizzard could do crazy damage. But of course this is Twisted Metal, so it's very hard to find a narrow position. That's right, wide open. And Blizzard in an open field, in a non-defensive position when there's no established front line. Not that great, you can easily maneuver around it, then at some point throw the end snares. The AoE has to work now, but 40 has no heal scroll. Dragon Haze for the fire hits okay, but nice pre-split there by Lin as well, separating the front line, making it hard to get the perfect connection for Fortitude. But Lin still doesn't like the look of things here. Speed scroll and boost. It's a lot about healing, obviously. And Lin with one heal scroll left. Shut on a dry already. Blizzard again doing a good job. AM getting caught though. Scroll of the beast, and now the damage is on. Is it enough? Artillery send in. Endurance aura is there. Raider killed, but that takes the attention of Priest off of the healing. Panda. Trying to escape. That's all that 40 does. He's trying to escape. He's trying to survive. But is, I don't think it's enough, man. Lin's supply isn't shrinking. Archmage in trouble. Almost getting hit by that shockwave. Timely TP. But his entire army is down in the dirt. Yeah, Lin up here really high in supply. Wonderful game by him. Even magic to fit in. Tier 3 and the Tiny Great Hall and Triple Hero. How rare is it to see that? on the top level. But now he's got all the tier 3 benefits that he's enjoying. He's got the Berserkers, he's got Bloodlust, although I guess that can be stolen. Triple Hero and so much more. Only thing missing, I guess, would be Torrents. But that's uh, an awkward tech we would need to get to. Even without it, Lin is looking grand. But it's always a bit difficult to heal up everything when everything has been damaged. So crazy, man. After two losses in a row, for Lin, I th Lin just decided that it's time to own 40 again. Yeah, today it definitely is looking like that. I'm looking forward to their rematch as well, whenever that might be. Oh, be yeah. in this tournament or in the next tournament. Oh yeah. Because of course we have to remember, if 42 drops down to meet Happy, 40's been kind of owning Happy lately. Not very one-sided, not without a chance for Happy, but he's been winning. Lots of these series. We could get a grand final without Happy, that's for sure. But first, we gotta close this out. It's desperate. Archmage in trouble. Hex, and that's the knockout punch. Shocked from the development this entire series. The AoE is overwhelming. GG. Warchief moves on. The Horde in the grand final. 3-0 by Lin. One of the few 3-0s in this playoffs. Wait, was this the first 3-0? Oh no, he had one as well. 3 0 Lawlight, and now 3 0 Fortitude. You could make a case that Lin is uh, yeah, the most dominant player so far in this journey. Yeah, he's crazy. Crazy strong. How he performs here, start to finish. Well, not really start to finish. He gets his revenge for the uh, loss against Fortitude in the group stage. But, you know, round of 16 is round of 16. In the playoffs, Lin just shines. Insane performance. Also... In the match against Sock, he looked really, really good. And 40, little bit of an off day. Outperformed. Lin with better decision making and better execution. And then, of course, it leads to a 3-0. This means tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central European Summertime. Time zone change, everybody. Happy versus 40 for the grand final.